Hi students, welcome back to our five steps for a successful history fair project video series. This is step four, develop your argument. So if you have been following along with our five steps so far, you have a great topic, a working thesis, and tons of great evidence that you got from researching and analyzing your primary and secondary sources. Step four, develop your argument, is where all of these pieces come together into a complete historical argument. Developing your argument is all about synthesizing or connecting the sources and information you have gathered so far. You could think of your evidence like bricks you are building into a nice historical argument home, like this little team of Lego people. Or think of your evidence like ingredients you will bake into a nice, tasty historical argument. We have an Organize Your Argument handout that can help you with this, so check it out on our students page at chicagohistoryfair.org. Just like a museum curator selects objects to arrange and explain in a museum, as you are looking through your evidence from all your sources, just like a historian, you will need to make decisions about what evidence you will definitely need to include to tell your story, including cause and effect, change over time, why and how questions, the impact of your topic, and finally, so what? Why does this history matter today? So that's the idea behind step four. Let's talk about how to actually make that happen. First, make connections between your primary and secondary sources. You've probably been noticing these connections throughout your research process, like where two sources describe the same event, or you have different sources quoting the same person. It can be helpful to have a Google document where you can rearrange and sort your pieces of evidence or even write them out on a note card that you can arrange and rearrange as you find these connections. You can be creative in how you put your argument together, but many students find the following template for building their argument useful. Introduction. Tell viewers what to expect as they review the rest of your project. Include your thesis statement clearly and early on in your project. Background and historical context. When and where did your topic happen? How was the world different then, and how was it the same? Conditions that led your topic to occur or that have been changed because of your topic are great details to include here. Build up in conflict. Get into the specifics about the conflict or problem that sparked your topic. If there are characters, groups, or organizations that are involved in your story, introduce them here. What happened? This is your chance to clearly explain the major events of your topic, the who, what, where, and when. This is usually a great place to feature some primary sources. If you have them, provide multiple perspectives and accounts of your topic. For example, a project about the fire might include a journal entry from a survivor, a newspaper article about the fire, and a map showing the parts of the city that burned. What changed and why? Provide your interpretation of the why of the topic. What direct, Im direct impact did it have on the people involved? In our fire example, we might talk about the number of people who lost their lives, homes, or businesses, and how the survivors coped with these losses. Finally, long-term effect. What lasting effect did your topic have into the future? How did the city of Chicago rebuild? How does your topic still matter today? The style and materials used in Chicago building ch buildings changed Chicago into a modern city. Where can someone go to do or learn more about your topic? Is there an architecture tour or style of building they can look out for in their neighborhood? So remember, this is a guide. This guide is a suggestion, not a rule. You can use a different format or adjust this one if you need to, but this is one great way to organize your evidence to develop your argument for your History Fair project. That's it for step four. Be sure to check out our student page at chicagohistoryfair.org for more on developing your argument and every step of the History Fair process. You can learn all about the different project categories and how History Fair projects are judged in our next video, step five, tell us your story. Thank you for watching and have fun making history.